I'm Jason Centracchio. I'm the writer and director for Desperate Men. Desperate Men is our latest short film from Centracchio Studios Productions. And uh, Desperate Men is by far um, one, of, one of our short films that I am the most excited about. Um, I abs absolutely loved Yesterday's Gone. It was a treat for me to write. I spent a long time writing it, um, but Desperate Men just has a special place in my heart for uh, the story that we were trying to tell. Certain locations that I, that I wanted to help tell the story of a world completely in ruin, a world completely gone, um, you know, a very dismal and dark future where, you know, there's really nothing left. Uh, we did, um, whenever I was writing the storyline, I did try to leave it a mystery as to what had happened, what had caused this apocalypse, if you want to put it that way. I knew I didn't want to have anything associated with zombies because we had done that with uh, Yesterday's Gone. So we wanted something different than uh, what we had normally done. And um, I think with Desperate Man, that's we achieved that um, and when I started doing the writing process um, I was so inspired from the short film of uh, the film festival that we had gone to um, James Bond the third's film festival in Kentucky and if it wasn't for uh, James Bond's encouragement um, we probably would not have done Desperate Men but uh, when we I remember when David and Jeremy and I left that film festival, we were so energized that we were like, oh, we, we got to do something uh, better than what we've done before. And, uh, you know, our creative juices were flowing. And uh, within two weeks, I had uh, written out Desperate Men. And uh, what was so interesting about Desperate Men for me as I was writing it is that I could already visualize exactly who I was going to utilize for our cast. And I knew right off the bat I was going to be casting Jeremy in the uh, role of the father because um, his, uh, uh, and by choosing his son, uh, Jacob, who did an extraordinary job in, their, in this film, um, I knew that they would have a connection that, you know, if, if I had chosen the part for myself or if I had chosen someone else to play the part of the father, there, there was just a connection that we were able to capture by casting a father and a son in those roles. And uh, I, I think it ended up uh, working out uh, immaculately for for us I I knew whenever I first started writing uh, Desperate Man when we brought in these particular uh, antagonists into the storyline I knew originally that from the get-go I wanted to cast Mark in there because uh, Mark really uh, brought his character to life uh, beyond the page but it was important to us that we, we wanted those film locations in Kentucky. And so uh, we had that small window of time. We didn't want to draw out filming to where it was going to take us a few months um, or several weeks like uh, what was the, the ordeal with um, Yesterday's Gone. So two weeks, two weeks I had written this uh, short film. And then when we started shooting it, we shot it in five days, and uh, it was it was a blast. It was just a blast, um, and uh, met with some challenges. Uh, had some problems with the rain, some problems with some horrible, horrible heat. 
Um, luckily, I was not uh, dressed in all the gear that Jeremy was because he was flat out miserable. Probably one of the things we didn't anticipate uh, or didn't plan for correctly was, uh, you know, wood doesn't catch on fire very well after you've had pouring rain. And so we didn't plan for that aspect of it. Ne next time we're going to get a fire log. I think that would have made things a lot easier. But uh, you live and you learn. And unfortunately, our learning curve with short films is sometimes <laughs> really broad. Um, the other challenge we ran into was, uh, you know, we had, you know, my daughter's been in uh, yesterday's gone with us. And she was considerably younger than when she helped us out this time. Um, she was a great help. But, uh, you know, it was a real challenge We uh, when we decided to cast Jake. Um, Jake, he did an extraordinary job. Um, kids only have a uh, narrow attention span. And so there's this small window of opportunity for you to film their scenes before they're done. <laughs> Almost done. All right. Ready? And look at me. My eye. What do you have? Let me see. Let me see. I didn't see anything. I just noticed your eyes in there. Good? All right. Look at me now. Okay, ready? Let's hurry up and get this done so we can go eat. And look at me. And, uh, you know, he was very enthusiastic. He wanted to do the movie. And, uh, but when he was done, he was ready to be done. And I remember uh, our first film day in Kentucky. My sister uh, ended up coming up with a brilliant idea. She said, you guys better bring some popsicles along. Because during the downtime, it'll satisfy the young boy and <laughs> it was a big relief because those popsicles did wonders. Uh, there are uh, some scenes where uh, he didn't realize that I was recording him and uh, there was a lot of thought that was going on behind his head and uh, I was able to capture some of those on camera and I captured some of the best scenes while he was unaware and it, he was he seemed to be just enwrapped in that that role that he was playing in um, much more than you would think a, a little boy would be Action. why am I not waiting Desperate Man was one of those gratifying projects that came together so, so well, um, both in its development, uh, through the story process, and then in the film process. Uh, you know, a lot of time and effort and passion has gone into this pro project. Um, even though we shot it in a matter of five days, it's been in uh, post-production for uh, quite some time, as Jeremy has um, done the editing process and the special effect and the color correction and um, different things that I know nothing about but that's why I write direct so <laughs> he doesn't have to David has put together an incredible um, an emotional soundtrack for Desperate Man that really just completely uh, adds to the whole thing my hope honestly when people see desperate men is that they will be touched by the storytelling that we've put together there both with the uh, the performance of the actors the writing of the story and the music of the story that mesh together as one cohesive whole and I hope that it touches them and uh, 
then they hit that like and subscribe and comment button. That's my hope. This is Jason. Thanks for watching. You didn't get that, did you?